decoupled to think about inflation. Um, but when I look at what's happening in China, that's all investment in additional capacity. And most of their demand comes from the U.S. And the U.S. is going to need fundamentally to change its saving ratio, which is going to affect consumption, which ultimately means there's more excess capacity in the world. So, yeah, I think the underappreciated risk is on the deflation side. So, everything we're seeing in crude, like the chairman said the other day, you think is transitory? And is I, think, yeah, I think there's more risk on the other side. Yes, there are a lot of people that would say, okay, inflation pressure is, is scaring them. These are people who have been in the markets for decades, too. That's scaring well, them like never not. before. I mean, look at the amount of, of issuance from the Fed, um, you know, the, the, the increase in the size of its balance sheet. All the warning signals that drive inflation are there. So why do you think it's transitory? Well, I, don't, I just don't see the end demand. Right? If there's not if there's not the demand for all of the investment capacity, ultimately prices are going to have to decline. There's, there's just way too much.